historic bridges. It spans the Yarra River in Melbourne. The Morell Bridge was built in 1899, and it's significant because it was one of the first reinforced concrete bridges ever to be built in Victoria. If you look closely, though, you can see it's starting to show signs of its age. In fact, it's looking pretty sad in parts. The problem started inside the bridge. After years of carbonation and chloride attack, the steel reinforcing in the bridge started corroding. I reckon now that about 60% of it has been affected, some of it very badly, actually. Look at this piece. Look, you can just bend that, break it. Now, traditionally, there were two ways of tackling this. One was to pull the bridge down, but the other was to carry out patching work. Now, that involved taking away massive amounts of the contaminated concrete and replacing it. The difficulty was, though, it caused structural weakness in the bridge. But now an Australian company, Remedial Engineering, has adapted some existing technology in a very innovative way to come up with a new technique for attacking this problem of steel corrosion in concrete structures. It's cheaper, it's quicker, and it's about the only long-term solution. In uh, Europe and America where these systems were developed, they've basically got different problems, mainly due to de-icing salts on structures causing corrosion. Australia effectively has had uh, problems in mainly marine environments uh, with uh, corrosion caused by the uh, salt water. So we've taken these systems uh, from overseas, we've done our own research and development and effectively have perfected these uh, cathodic protection systems. The technology is simple really. A small electric current passes from an internal or an external anode through the concrete and into the steel reinforcing. Now this current negatively charges the steel and makes it cathodic or non-corrosive. Now these anode systems are often incorporated into titanium mesh on the outside of the concrete or inserted into the structure itself. But in this case, the Morell Bridge has been landfilled. So what have you done, Ian? Well, because of the landfill, we've actually used soil anodes in the actual earth itself. Now where's the earth? Well, the earth is in the, above the arch all the way to the underside of the pavement. The actual road pavement is on the earth fill and the soil anode passes the current through the moisture in the soil to the concrete and protects the reinforcing steel. Cathodic protection provides an economical, long-term alternative to patch repairs in bridges, wharves, industrial structures and other buildings. In fact, anywhere where reinforced or pre-stressed concrete structures are suffering from steel corrosion. Some of our large-scale projects have been in the restoration of high-rise buildings and these have particular challenges of access, etc. Other more historic projects, such as the Savoy Plaza Hotel in uh, Spencer Street, where we've had to uh, restore and repair the concrete and restore the structure to its original appearance. Remedial Engineering's been one of our quiet success stories. Business Review Weekly's just named it one of Australia's top 100 fastest growing companies. And it's grown by moving out into the Pacific and Southeast Asia. They've just set up a base in Singapore with a joint venture partner. Generally speaking, you can and we do go for one-off projects in, uh, in various countries, but when you effectively, after a long-term presence in a, in a country and to uh, really establish yourselves, you do need to work with, the, with locals. Fort Sloso is the, uh, is the fort on the uh, entrance to the harbour of Singapore, used by the British to defend in the, uh, in, of course, the, in the war. The major operation there is uh, working to re restore the fort, a uh, fairly large contract to restore the fort. Uh, we're uh, moving uh, very heavy cannons, we're doing concrete repair and waterproofing operations and effectively um, restoring that structure to its former glory. Where you can apply this sort of technology, we really can stop the corrosion process forever. It does require monitoring and maintenance of that system, but effectively we can stop the ongoing uh, ravages of time and deterioration of, of reinforcing steel and concrete. 60% of Remedial Engineering's work now is overseas. It's a very good example of an Australian company that's been able to borrow technology, adapt it, and then re-export our know-how to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm.